Covering Clay County, after hearing concerns from several parents at Orange Park, the Sheriff's Office posted on social media about a registered sexual predator who lives near Lakeside Elementary and Junior High School. Police say 57-year-old Bruce Grenea lives on Brockwood Road across from the school. Under Florida law, because his conviction was prior to October of 2004, there are no restrictions on where he can live. News for Jack's reporter Zach Lajway spoke with deputies. He's joining us live outside the school. Zach. Tom, authorities tell me they cannot enforce a law that does not exist. Now, to give you perspective on why people are concerned, this is where the school is located. Right across the street is where Grenea lives. When school lets out at Lakeside Elementary and Junior High School, students let out onto the streets. Some are greeted by parents, others by crossing guards, and the conversation among many, the news of a sexual predator residing across the street from the school. According to Florida Department of Law Enforcement's Sexual Offenders and Predators Search, 57-year-old Bruce Grenea was convicted in January 1995 of lewd and lascivious acts on a child younger than the age of 16 and sexual battery of a child younger than the age of 12. In June 2005, he was convicted of failing to register as a sexual predator. According to authorities, he is not breaking any laws living across from the school. But nevertheless, parents. I mean, I have four daughters. It is concerning. And nearby residents. It ain't right. Are disturbed. No, just hopefully they um, look at the laws again. And I spoke to the homeowner of the house where Grenea lives. That individual tells me Grenea is a friend and they've known him since the 90s. The homeowner says they were helping him out by giving him a place to live. But if this is causing community concern, he can live somewhere else. I also asked the homeowner about the structures in the back of the main home that appear to look like dwellings. The homeowner told me they are not. Now, if you want to check your area for sexual predators and offenders, we posted a link to FDLE's website on our website, newsforjacks.com. We're live this afternoon in Orange Park. I'm Zach Lajway, Channel 4, the local station.